in this video, we're revealing how to make money with Eventbrite and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More than that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So here's a pretty interesting concept to make money with Eventbrite that you probably never heard of. And I know people that actually have done this and built an eight figure company. Right, and the crazy thing is I literally saw it happen. So here's actually the story that happened. So this is Eventbrite, this is obvious. For those that are understanding what Eventbrite is, you can see that right now it says, oh, popular events here in Denpasar, because that's exactly where I'm at. I'm in this weird place called Bali, Indonesia, where you can see all the people that I interviewed on my podcast. It's a bunch of people that make a bunch of money online that left you know, their places in the world to live in this like small little island in Asia. Like you can see this 11 year old girl turned on $30 million, and this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, and you can check it out on my podcast, right? But you can see Eventbrite is essentially, you know, people are literally going to these things, they're like, oh, I wanna do yoga teacher training, I wanna go conquer overthinking and make lasting changes. And you can see that people are doing workshops and it's being promoted here on the Eventbrite place lo around the local area, right? So this could be really big in terms of like getting people who have no idea who you are, but there's a special concept that you wanna go ahead and teach and you can literally just charge it for free. You're like, well, what, for free? How are you gonna actually go ahead and make money? Well, think about it. You don't have to do any marketing and you're getting someone's butt into a seat, into a live seat where they're literally at an event, they're surrounded by a lot of people and now they wanna learn something from you, right? So think about how, how big that is. Why are a lot of these people even sometimes doing it for free? Look at this for free. How's this girl gonna make money if she's doing it for free? Well, what you guys gonna understand is this how people get their coaching clients if they don't wanna spend money on advertising, on Facebook ads or YouTube ads, they don't wanna make videos. This is how people did, did it back in the day, right? Like back in the day, you know, so many people had these free events. Like I remember my dad went to so many free real estate events, right, and you go and you know, they give value. And while they were there and giving value, you know, at the end of it, they literally pitch, you know, a weekend seminar. Oh, this one was free, but if you really wanna know the tricks, sign up for this, you know, workshop that we're having tomorrow. And then, you know, they, for example, go and sign up and they make like a million bucks, right? And I remember seeing this actually happen because it happened to me. And I remember this company right here, um, this guy, he like created this company, Real Social Dynamics. I um, mean, I remember back in the day, my girlfriend like dumped me. So I had like horrible dating skills. I had no confidence. Uh, growing up, I was always an outsider. And because like I'm super Asian, uh, I didn't have confidence in like talking to people when I was like, like talk, getting started because I was just nervous and I was always an outsider, right? So I remember there was this guy that would literally preach dating advice back in the day and he would do these free workshops. And I remember it was like my dream to go to these free workshops. And you can see some of these were literally recorded like a couple years ago, right? It's like doing free workshops where you would literally show up to a hotel that this guy paid for and you know, you would just go for free. I was like, oh my God, this is insane. This is nuts. This is crazy. How, like, how's this good? Like, he's literally doing this out of the kindness of his heart to literally, you know, teach me someone who sucks at dating and poor confidence skills to actually become confident so I could attract a woman that I could fall in love with and get married and live happily ever after, right? And literally, it was like the exact same business model. You know, he literally talked for like an hour or two or three or four. I got so much value. And at that, he's like, oh yeah, by the way, if you wanna go and go deeper, uh, we have like a workshop tomorrow. And I was like, oh dude, but. And then you just go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into a sales process and a sales funnel. So you gotta ask yourself, okay, well why does this work? Why does this work if you do not have a brand? Well, it does a lot of things psychologically that allow you to make money. Number one, you know, especially in the local area, odds are a lot of people aren't really, you know, for example, prom like, like realizing that like Eventbrite will literally promote your event for free like on their page. So they'll literally know if someone goes to eventbrite.com because a lot of people like going to events, um, they'll literally see, oh wow, look, free workshop. Free work, look at this, this isn't even like a free online workshop, guys. This is a free online workshop, so you can even host like a webinar and start making money on it, right? So you can see how people are actually making money with these events. You know, you go to the event, guess what happens? There's also a bunch of people at the event. You know, when I went, there was like, you know, like 10, 15 people, five people, so I was like, oh wow, there's other people that are just like me that wanna learn, right? And then what happens is this guy starts speaking and everyone starts listening. 
So what did that do? Credibility is there, social proof is there, um, authority figures there. I'm sitting, this person's standing, so I would wanna listen in even more, right? And it turned into the perfect marketing like thing where it's, it's allowing someone who, especially if you wanna start like a coaching business or a consulting business, for you to leverage credibility to boost your brand. And that's something that I constantly do over and over and over and over again. I find opportunities on how I can leverage and up-level my brand so that it can get me into more opportunities. Does that make sense? And the crazy thing is this is exactly how they started and launched, like for example, their eight-figure business. It started off with all these free tours that you could essentially you know, go to Eventbrite for free and like for example, create an event for free and just start promoting it in a bunch of like groups. Say, hey, I'm going to this event, I'm going to this event. And at this event, you wanna do multiple things. Number one, you wanna have the intention that this event won't be your first event, and this event, you could use it to leverage to gain more credibility. Because the more you can get that credibility and throw it online, the more your brand levels up. I literally started like with these free events, like teaching people marketing and sales back when I was like 19, 20 years old, when anybody would ever hear me. I would do these little events like in my like college cafeteria when it wasn't being used and teaching people about marketing and sales on the side of me starting to become a dentist, right? Using this as a little side hustle, selling things like from the stage so that I can make some money on the side, right? And I'd leverage that and leverage that and leverage that to the point where now you see that it went from like five people now speaking on stages with hundreds of people like listening in that you know I documented on my blog, which you go ahead and see right here. But a lot of it stemmed from like doing these little events for free, right? So that's one way. Um, take as much pictures as possible because that will actually build your career as you grow. And then I want to compare it to what you know Eventbrite says how to make money with their hosting event. Another one is selling sponsorships. Now this is something when you get bigger, right? But it's essentially not gonna be the best thing uh, in the world. What you can do though, um, is you could literally uh, do this, facilitate commerce between parties. What does that actually mean? So essentially, I learned this from a friend of mine who's like amazing. He, he literally drop shipped Tony Robbins, he's, he's a public speaker, to the country of Russia, right? So he does some phenomenal things. He does these events, not too big, but like a small group, but like of high level entrepreneurs. And at this event, he literally made a deal with the bank. He was like, hey, you know, I have these entrepreneurs wanting to start a business. Uh, maybe you could put a booth at this event and if anyone gets a loan from you, I want a percentage of that. And he would literally do this. He would like host these events where he would bring people together and he would make deals with all these other, you know, third party uh, people that would also want to serve these audience and he would get a back end deal. He'd be like, oh, he would go up to like, for example, the bank company and be like, okay, these people want loans. If you give them any loan, I want a cutback. And then they would give him like, for example, a commission from that. Or, you know, say like, for example, it was a company about like, <clears throat> or an event about health and fitness. You just get everyone there at this event, right? You could literally, if you are not the expert, you could invite other experts to come, like, hey, you know, there's all these people here. They want to learn from you. Um, you could literally sell them whatever it is that you want. I'll bring them in. You just have to show up and tell your story and sell. Even if you're not the expert, what people are doing to make money with these Eventbrite businesses is they get 50% of whatever this person sells them. Because what you think about, well, why would they give you 50%? You brought the people there. If you are bad at selling, if you are like not good at closing, you can get other people to close. Like I remember that was my business model back in the day when I was in college. Now I remember the reason why I got good at selling and marketing was because my role was getting people to this free event. I was like getting them to this free event. I'm like, hey guys, go to this free event. My mentor, he was like 24 at the time, making seven grand, one of my first mentors. Um, he, like this guy would literally tell a story, do the selling, right? So my goal was to get as many people to this event for free. He would do the selling and I would get a commission, not 50%, but like a small percentage of whatever he would sell. Now, if you really think about it, how you can make money with Eventbrite is you literally are a facil facilitator, bringing people in and getting the experts to do the selling for you. Partnering with even like a nutrition company. Oh, can you give free samples here? Can you give free samples? There's gonna be all these high level entrepreneurs that wanna make money and wanna get better and healthy. If anyone goes and buys like your meal plan, I wanna cut out that. And what you realize is as long as you get people together, you can literally create the business like so fast because you just tap into existing business models. Does that make sense? Instead of you creating the business, you just get a cut out of all these people's businesses. And that's the beauty about Eventbrite. You can literally do this like right now. Do you have to be the expert? No. Can you do this from your spare time? I did this while I was in college, 
right? And I made, you know, a decent living from it where it allowed me to start, you know, like having more freedom to pay for my bills, right? And the coolest thing about this is as long as you get the people, you could literally, you know, for example, get an expert, right? You go on LinkedIn, you could reach out to local people. Maybe there are people that you look up to around your area that you're like, man, I, I always wanted an opportunity to become friends with them. You could be like, hey, I'm hosting an event. Do you want to go and speak and sell them whatever it is that you want and I just get a percentage? Yeah, 100%. People create community and the future of business is actually in this tribe building guys and you can do this in so many different things and you could even do this for skills that you want to acquire because now you get like really good chummy chummy with the people that are you know the experts and they know you as a credibility source because you brought them together and this is literally how I got started with my brand I literally started from things like doing something as simple as these free events that you could get started with from Eventbrite and then we scale to other businesses as you can see um, like on my blog and my YouTube channel. But of course, if you want an even faster and easier way to do this where you can literally get a cut out of multiple people's businesses without actually doing the hard work, without having any expertise that's brand new this year, where you actually don't have to go to an event, you could do this online where we literally have students go from $10 a day to $100 a day to even $1,000 a day or more, then sign up for this week's free workshop because we have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand in 90 days. As well as checking my podcast of all these really successful people that make a bunch of money online. Like this 11-year-old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy makes a million dollars from a profit. Check it out right here. See you guys later. You.